welcome to Njoro Precious Schools. For more information about these schools, kindly watch this video and don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to this channel. This is Joyce Langat, the school principal, Jero Precious Girls High School. In Jero Precious Girls High School, we began in the year 2006, and the school is a private institution. The population of Jero Precious School, we have the high school session, the primary session, and the ECD session. So in the secondary session, we have the population of 150 students. We have so many different things in our school, especially, let me begin from the academics, difference from the other schools. We are actually performing very well. For example, in secondary section, we had a mean score of 6.5, and our current target is 8.4. So that is making the Njero Precious to be a good center of school. Another thing in Jero Precious, we have so many co-curricular activities. We are producing talented students, especially because we have several clubs. We are nurturing students spiritually in such a way that during the Wednesday we have the service and also on Sunday we have a service whereby we invite different pastors from different denominations. In our school also we have the Muslims and other denominations. We make sure that the students are having the freedom of worship. In Jero Precious School, we are well equipped. We have the trained teachers. Majority of them, they are registered with the Teacher Service Commission. And we, sh we follow the ministry rules and policies. We have extra classes, around five extra classes. And we are ready to welcome the grade six and grade seven. And even if they proceed to senior secondary, So my name is Omundia Boy. I'm the head teacher in Jero Precious Morning Primary School. I have a population of uh, 326 in the primary side and uh, 124 in ECD. In terms of performance, we have been doing very well. Uh, we fall under Rongai Sub County and uh, our performance is really outstanding. This year we are targeting a mean score of 370. I have a candidate of 34, that is 34 class 8 and uh, 27 grade 6. Uh, God willing, I know we are going to put this school in the map of Kenya. Actually, what uh, I would uh, like to pass to our parents and also guardians outside there is that Nero Precious is the place to be. Please, we are the uh, uh, junior secondary school, uh, that's from one junior secondary school, is, uh, the admission is ongoing. Uh, anytime the forms are there, we have uh, the ongoing programs for uh, the admission. Don't be left out. Your precious is the place to be. And uh, uh, we promise you that when you, if you join us, you never regret. None of our parents, none of the guardians house are there. All our alumni, none of them has ever regretted. Your precious, actually, we are located uh, uh, within Joro Township. We are on the side of the side of Rongai Sub County. Uh, almost uh, 500 meters from Njoro Girls, that is off uh, Njoro uh, El Bagon Highway. This is Mandela Dennis. This is a sports school. We have all the co-curricular activities that are going on. As you can see, we have what you call the swimming pool here. We have what you call the fields. All the fields are here. We have the, fit, uh, we have the football pitch is there. We have the netball pitch is there. We have also the net, uh, the volleyball. All the games are all over here. So we thank that all the fields and we have the fields. We have the, 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 the we can just say that the field, the space here is just spacious. We can have all the games that are there. In the CBC, when we talk about the CBC, like right now I'm engaging the, my learners, like the grade six and the grade five, I'm engaging them in Kabaddi, I'm engaging them in Roundhouse. All the games that I'm playing in this school, they are just normally encouraged with the CBC that is 
in line with that one. So we thank that we have the space, we thank the management, we thank they are providing for us everything. This school has everything so that we can say that uh, uh, CBC is compliant in this, in this school. So we just urge all the parents who are hearing us, who are getting us, that you bring your child, the CBC compliant, this school is CBC compliant, and we are just okay with this CBC compliant. They are really enjoying, they are really enjoying these kids, they are really enjoying, and we just thank that the management continue to boost on, continue to have more facilities, continue to have more, so that we can, we can be compliant with this CBC. So we just thank for the management to add on, and put on more effort and we just thank the parents who are catching us wherever you are please this school is compliant to cbc this school has all the resources this school has all the all, all, all the items that are required for the cbc for the for the new education system that we have in the school so please we urge parents welcome and we are here as we can see this is the pool and the pool the learners are here they went to we went up to the nationals, we were in Naivasha, we were in Nakuru, we are competing and they have their certificates, they have their medals and we thank, we thank God. Okay, thank you. My name is uh, Mr. Kevin Walumbe. I'm a teacher at Njoro Precious Girls High School. I teach uh, computer and uh, chemistry. As a teacher around, I want to say that um, we really have had a good experience. We have good learners around. We try to motivate them also that even as they go out to the uh, community, we mold and bring up learners who are fully, fully baked. We have a day school as well as a boarding school. The day scholars, most majority of them, are being transported every evening and every mornings. Uh, we transport them within Njoro sub, from uh, Njoro sub county as well as Rongai sub county, and also generally we can say in Nakuru as a whole. And uh, I have very disciplined drivers. Uh, they have ne there has never been any case of a uh, mishap on the way and uh, I think we are trying our level best so that we bring these kids to school safely and as also on time and also take them back to their parents on time and uh, it's something that we have done for a long time we have uh, vehicles as you can see we have vehicles around we have these buses and also uh, the school vans which uh, we ensure that uh, transports them on a daily basis and uh, actually it's very efficient, it's very affordable. In, in our school, Njoro Precious Girls and Njoro, Prim, Njoro Precious Primary, we provide the students with balanced diet and this balanced diet we source it from inside our school whereby we have the farm, we have the, whereby we, we have the animals, the pigs, that is where we get the meat, we have the vegetables, we have the maize. Even the fruits, sometimes when we lack, we buy from the outside, we have the tender, and that is where the students get the food. Even the teachers, they, they are being given, provided with the food, and that is the, the, the goodness of our school in Precious. The way you have seen, in those labs, we have the science club, computer lab, home science club. It is well equipped, and we have teachers who are actually well trained in those Areas. Okay, under CBC, I was one of the people who represented the school when that team was here in uh, Nakuru. And uh, one of the things uh, that I submitted there was uh, the parents' observation. Because you see, uh, right now it's like the parents are stuck. Uh, they, I don't know whether they should start purchasing uh, the necessary materials for the same. So my recommendation uh, or my appeal to this task force is that please let, let, they should move with the speed so that at least we give the parents go ahead a clear or a way forward because it's like we are now stuck. We don't know whether this thing is going to be, uh, it's going to move to the class 8, we are going to move to class 8 or maybe we will have it as it had been previously planned by the former CS. Your precious actually is the place to be. All of you are welcome. Thank you for watching and subscribing. 
See you in the next video.